Well, I suppose it's time to finish this game up. Welcome, dear viewers, to the Crooked Man. Uh, this, I, I have a feeling we're about to be ending it soon. So, let's get started. Things are kind of, uh... Yeah, you, you saw that last part. Yeah, you know what's going on. And, uh... Horrible things are going on. Paul, what are you suggesting here? Oh, you have got to be fucking kidding. Huh? Oh, I, oh, cell phone, right. Something along the lines of, don't come, please don't, I'm waiting for you. Like words that were in the game earlier. I like how I can't hear anything out of the right side of my earbuds. Get these fucking things. So now I get to play as Paul and Marion, or m mainly Paul. Yeah, cell phone. Okay, whatever. I Fuck off, fly. Flying right in front of my face. So nothing's changed out here, I presume. I can't leave now. Which is, you know, the obvious thing. It's, forgive me, it's been a month or so since I've played, and I know, even though I knew it was going to be about the end here. And I resist the urge to save already. Everything looks pretty much the same. Oh boy. So, where upstairs? Because there's a lot of place to traverse upstairs, even though most of these are locked, as I remember. Oh, yeah, so the, the, the reason I'm doing this now, um, I had gotten, like I said, distracted for a month. Not that you'll see that, because these are all going up at the same time. I haven't even finished editing half of these. Um, and I got... Um, uh, Z, one of my friends from... Wasn't there, like, vomit or something denoting one of these rooms was open? Oh no, it was the cat room. Uh, who is 
uh, not commentated alongside me for other games, but was uh, it has been mentioned now and then, uh, namely during the crash stream. And he remembered that he kind of liked some of Markiplier's vids, and he and I watched The Crooked Man mostly the way through, except for the finale, because I hadn't finished it yet. And I got reminded, and I put a lot of thought into this game, and I want to finish it. Oh! Is that supposed to be Fluffy's mother? Oh, wait, no. Wait. Oh, wait, they, they said that Paul sees things or stuff like that, so maybe that's a ghost. Um, but yeah, so I didn't finish watching it all the way through for the express purpose of, you know, I wanted to finish it myself first. This is the fourth floor, right? Was there any other doors? Oh, there's that elevator. With nothing in it. And I want to finish that with him tonight, so... Ow, oh, what? Oh, wait, did I go in the central? I did go in the central room. I don't know if I should be looking for items, considering I, you know, picked up everything. I went through that before I guess I should do yeah and I I noticed a lot of like um but yeah a lot of symbolism and, and like uh themes recurring themes and it's not too hard to say uh you know what they are but one thing that caught my attention was Z had mentioned that uh, the the crooked man's neck kind of looks like maybe he was hanged. But the fact of the matter that he's smiling is a kind of a giveaway as to what kind of creature he might be. Obviously paranormal, but that he represents um, death. Primarily suicide. And considering the fact that David has uh, three big failings in his life, which are three important ones. Relationships, career, and family. Uh, and given his personality and the fact that his friends want to help him so much. Excuse me. To possibly save him from doing something unspeakable and which there's no going back from, uh, it, it's kind of hard to not see those. I just didn't put it all together until uh, we were, like, beginning the um, scene two, me and Z. Uh, watching uh, Markiplier and he mentioned the, the next thing and I was like oh my god and it was totally right I'm, I'm pretty sure I am pretty sure I understand the question is is it set I knew some, finally something was going to take place in this long ass hallway. Um, that, you know, it, where does it go from here? Does David succumb? I was, alright, I was right. It was, or, well, I was wrong, but my second thought was right.
That's definitely D Sprite. And before, what's to see? Even the word, even the box was a tip off. The um, the, the box, the the sprite. Okay, so Z was kind of right. He thought it was a delusion, but I would say it's not a delusion. These people are ghosts, though. Hmm. Nothing in here. This is where David left off, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that, because like I said, it's it's been a month. Yeah. So now I wonder if all of these people who are apparently ghosts, I'm guessing, it's hard to imagine they would be here and be so vague in context because ghosts in um, in fiction tend to be vague as hell. Uh, if they all committed suicide or are simply, you know, or simply died. And that's why they're related to the Crooked Man and to David. Oh, there's new, new, new stuff. Oh, don't finish the... Thanks for that. I, I'm, I'm not on guard right now, but I'm wondering if I should be. Oh, okay. Yep. There's the confirmation. Oh, and there's some music. Well, now I have reason to fear, because, you know, nothing ever happens when you have a, a, a second character in your party. But, now it's just going to be Paul. Oh, I can move. So, I forget where shit is. Is the roof? Oh yeah, I got chills. God damn it! The roof makes sense if we got a suicide motif going on, because um, the weapons that David, uh, Dave, David, uh, used against the Crooked Man to fight him off uh, were all things that you could use to commit suicide: the knife, slash your own neck, 
or cut your wrists, I guess. Um, an iron pipe. Well, hey, if you have enough nerve to, um, to, uh, to do something like hurt yourself, I'm sure you build up enough, uh, strength for one fatal blow to your face, and the gun is obvious. But I also realized that the hosp the fourth floor of a hospital is the perfect, excuse me, aha, the perfect place to throw yourself off from. I just saved it, right? I don't give a fuck. I wonder now, though, if David may have already committed suicide. I guess we'll see it play out. Ah. Oh, jeez, game. So now I want to get these in the right order, from, like, worst to best. But this game's, per uh, not perception, but this game's way of handling things like this is a little skewed, I think.
hate to break it to you, David. <laughs> Crisis averted. Hey, finally David's cigarettes see some news. Of course it would. And then being ghosts explains why, uh, why they had the keys to David's progress. Less fluffy because he, David was already here at this final destination, um, beforehand, but Sissy had the next location in, in her box, and D had found found uh, the next address all on his own in the basement. Being led? But are they working with for or against the crooked man? Exactly, David. And somehow you've been managed to be taken advantage of by someone you don't even know.
Well, let's go with him. Damn it, Paul. <laughs> 